Hi everyone, my name is Martha. I'm a relationship counselor and clinical sexologist. I'll be making a reaction video to this post. A girl earning three times more than boyfriend says that he documents the expenses in table form down to the cents in order to equally share them. So he wants to pay his share. He is asserting his uh, right for equality. So this appeared in October this year. And uh, so because of the income gap, uh, at first she thought it's not a problem but as time went on they start arguing more and more about money when they go on meals always says that restaurants are overpriced which is true and we should stick to hawker center food so I'm happy with that okay but it's so rare for us to eat in restaurants so when uh, business is good I want to reward myself they go to a restaurant and it hurts me to see him go through the menu and not really happy to eat there because it's expensive. I feel like you should really let him know and really talk about it and acknowledge what he's feeling rather than just, I, I'm not sure whether you are just sitting there and just like feeling miserable and awkward about it. But when you do offer, so she does offer, the boyfriend will complain about the food. So he doesn't want you to pay, essentially. He will not be happy when you pay. So one day, uh, he starts documenting the expenses in table form right down to the cents. So basically ask, ask, okay, ask this question. Um, how you feel about the times when I pay? When uh, do you feel it's necessary to be so exact in 50-50? Why is this important to you? Hear what he has to say, although I do have my suspicions why. So he rarely treats her or her parents because, um, okay, but when he does, he will highlight those occasions because this is his contribution, okay? He wants to be acknowledged. And I feel like you may not have been acknowledging his efforts of, uh, to him, it's a big deal. He feels that he's being generous. Maybe you don't realize what an effort it is considering that he does earn less. So I feel like he will highlight this because he is, trying to make you see that he does have that element of wanting to support and provide. She talked to him about it, but he hasn't been receptive towards it and thinks his way of doing things is fair, which is the 50-50. He sees his lower income as a limiting factor for him and while she earns more, she should pay for her own things. So this led her confused, especially when he proposed marriage. So just last week, he popped the question. I love him a lot, but these questions will always be at the back of my mind. What should I do? Okay, so this um, this post does not have any uh, reaction um, sharing because um, most of the time they... Yeah, it's a confessions post. Okay. So this is what I, was, I have to say. Uh, a lot of couples actually fight about a few things um, money being a big big one, money, and then there's uh, sex, um, and then there's also a lot of times um, the relationship with the parents and the in-laws. So these are three of the most common ones. Uh, then, of course, there's uh, arguing about parenting styles uh, is another. Okay, so this is what I want to say. Your partner actually takes a lot of pride uh, in uh, being, being a man, okay? Uh, and a lot of men, they actually have that innate desire to provide and to take care. So when he can't take care of you physically, uh, financially, sorry, then perhaps you can really um, notice and acknowledge all the other ways that he does provide for you that will kind of like even out the balance because money is a very sensitive part of how he identifies himself and his, um, his ego. So he says that he feels... Um, not good about himself so ask him what would make him feel better about himself and his income so whether it's to support him to further his career uh, more skills building more um, training more education whether it is to change industry whether it is uh, whether there's any possibility for him to work with you um, so that you both utilize your strengths as individuals uh, so that you can be more successful as a couple. So, because he already has the traits that you love about him, that he's trustworthy, that he's somebody that he can lean on. So this 50-50 thing, you can also kind of uh, challenge him by asking him, you do not want to be in a relationship where everything is so calculative. As much as uh, you pay for certain things, um, you once you get married, 
uh, all your money gets put together and you are a couple. So it's not yours versus me, it's us. And how can we utilize this money um, better? So for instance, um, I know of a lot of people, they may be better in certain things like cooking or cleaning, and then their partner might be better in finances. So really allocating different uh, areas of your life to different people. So for instance, you are good in this area, then you make the final decision like finding good deals for us as a couple. Uh, you are better in uh, accounting and uh, looking into uh, ways that we can grow our money better. You look, you are in charge of this area. So it doesn't mean that you don't discuss, you discuss, but somebody makes the final decision. So this is where he, he can come in and say, this is how we build each other up and we become stronger as a, as a unit versus me versus you. Sometimes they do feel threatened because um, I know I'm going to talk like a bit generalization and stereotyping. A lot of um, men, they do pack their sense of self-worth to their career, to the income, to to, to do that as a big part of who they are. So the fact that uh, he is actually being very insecure and threatened, you already know that. So then what you can do is take steps to address it um, by asking him like what will make him feel better about himself uh, financially. So get, get uh, more accomplished in his career so that he earns more. But then seeing that the money that you have as a couple as not just uh, me versus you and you not seeing it this way, but actually how do we actually grow our money as a couple uh, building on each other's strengths let's say if he's better in investing then that can be an area that you all work on together and then the third thing is really getting him to see like you do not want to be in a relationship where things are 50 50 and when you are married actually you do not want to be in a 50 50 relationship where it's all about equality you do not want that you want actually generosity and uh, I feel that the fourth thing that I want to share is that for his contributions from the things that I've been reading, I feel that he does not feel acknowledged. He does not feel acknowledged for his contributions. So you can actually be more um, mindful of um, the trips to restaurants instead of uh, going to restaurants all the time. It can be, you can take turns. So you can have um, a kind of... A, thrifty kind of a lifestyle and I'll go to hawker centers but then you can say like um, once a month we will take turns to go to restaurants or once a week uh, we will take turns to give each other a treat so because I want to and um, then I choose this restaurant I will pay for it and then the next time you choose where we go we go somewhere different and then you you decide where you want to go and so then you don't do the 50-50 thing, you do the 100-100. So this time I earn more, I choose this one. Um, this time you, you earn less, you decide, we go along with where you want to go. So you can actually turn it like we go to like always the same places, but then there are times we sometimes try out different places and this is when um, you know, I'm treating so I, I make the final decision. So don't make it into a habit like, oh, I earn more so we go five times and you earn less so we go one time to your place. Uh, you, you get what I'm trying to say, it's really about like making it more of like a special thing. And when you make an occasion out of it, it does feel, it does feel better. And, and also keep in mind, you know, if you're going to marry this person, you're going to have kids with this person. So really think about like, make it clear to him, like you're not going to be able to work at the level that you are and earning at the level that you are all the time when kids are involved. And so this is where you guys can discuss like, how do you, uh, move forward uh, financially uh, uh, upon marriage and also how is th how are things going to change after uh, baby. Just because you are earning more now, it may not be that you always earn this amount all the time. Things can change. You may decide to uh, take a back seat. You may decide to let him run the business. You may decide uh, as a couple, like he be the house husband. So he needs to be really okay with the idea that he doesn't see this as me versus you kind of a thing, but a us thing. And we, I'm, um, I'm doing this for the good of us as a unit. And uh, you can actually show him um, teachable moments, like when you come across like articles of um, 
uh, husbands who take a back seat to support their successful um, spouse, um, it actually, there is no need to have shame. So perhaps for him, he hasn't seen uh, much modeling going on in his own life in, in the society that we live in. But there are actually many examples around us. If we just look, people who are secure enough in their identity to not feel threatened by their wife uh, being having a more uh, successful or um, more financially lucrative kind of a career. So I hope this has been uh, useful. Uh, it's really important to address this before marriage. So I would suggest um, going for couples counseling, going for financial counseling, like getting it all out in the open and uh, really deciding that, um, and really making it clear that uh, you, you, you know, what he values as um, very definitive of his identity, what he values, what he sees is like, so like, like threatening him is actually not the same way you look at things. I think uh, in general, I, um, I know I'm generalizing, uh, men and women do look at finances quite differently. So I really hope that you guys work it out because a love is um, something very special and um, you met that special person. So just address this issue rather than um, leave it hanging, okay? You don't, you don't want this to happen. So this has been Martha of Eros Coaching.